Well, I got my 38 millimeter Makuni carburetor. It's called a VM38, and I've decided to take it apart and put it in some carb cleaner overnight. And let it sit a good 24 hours. There's nothing wrong with it, but the exterior of it's filthy, as you can see. And I'm getting ready to put it back on the Sportster on the old iron head, and so I want to get it cleaned up a little bit. So I'm going to take it apart. I've already removed the slide out of it. I'm going to unscrew the top. And then that top has a, a threaded fitting on the top of it with a lock nut. And I'm going to take all that apart. And I'll put these in the carb bin to soak. And I've removed the gasket. There was a rubber gasket that goes in the top of this uh, cap for the carb and I do not want to put the rubber in there so I've removed that a while ago let me take the float bowl off here it's four Phillips screws and there will be a gasket underneath this float bowl and this is the original gasket that came on this carburetor when I bought it new in 1973 so the carburetor, the gaskets have lasted like a lifetime. Uh, a VM38 carburetor, in my opinion, is the best carburetor that anyone could ever put on an iron head. It makes the bikes start very, very easily and it just runs super. There's not a smoother running carburetor on earth as far as I'm concerned. This is the top carb that you can get. So I pull that off. You can see the floats inside. And they have some little plastic retainers to keep the floats from coming loose if you turn it upside down. Uh, there's also a drain plug in the bottom and I guess I'll pull that out if I can. No, I can't. Um, let me see. I'm going to take it over here Put this in the vise and take this loose. Okay, I got it loose. So I'm unscrewing the drain plug. It too has a fiber washer on it. I'm going to remove that washer. I don't like soaking any of the washer washers or rubber items uh, in the gasket. Uh, any of the gaskets or rubber items. I don't like soaking them in carb cleaner. It's just not good for them. And I'm going to go ahead and leave these rubber retainers on here, I think. Uh, Let me see, those, they don't want to come off easily. Okay, I'm going to take a chance and leave those on there. And I'm going to put the floats and everything, and we'll just drop it into the bin. Four screws with their washers and clips drop in there. Here's the float chamber of a Makuni. There's your main jet and there's the main jet holder. And the floats go in these two square areas. And there is the, the float, the lever, and the needle with the spring. Now you never want to adjust the float level on the Makuni. Leave it as it is and don't take it apart because they're very very difficult to get them set right. They're set at the factory and it's best to let that sleeping dog lie. There's no advantage to, to messing with the trying to improve on the float lever from the way it comes from the factory. Now I'm just going to knock this pin out here and I don't see any real need 
to clean that lever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pin back through the lever so I can, and I'll put it with the gasket down here. Um, the float itself, I will take that out. The little spring comes off like so, kind of clamps onto that back side. And I'm going to have to use a scribe to get that loose. Real handy to have a scribe around when you're working on taking a carburetor apart. This spring, there's no need to clean that. I'm going to set it with the parts that will not go into the cleaning. And I will lift the, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm going to lift the needle out of there. And I will put the needle in there. And I will take the main jet out because that's something that's subject to getting stopped up. And I will take the main jet holder out. And I see no washers on that. So I'm good to go there. I'm going to put the main jet and the main jet holder into the soup. Here we have the idle screw. I'm not concerned about where that's set at, so I will just unscrew it and I'll drop the needle and the, the idle needle and the spring into the goop to clean it. Now here's my low speed. The carb set correctly. So I want to see where that is set at. So I'm going to turn it in a half a turn and almost another half a turn. So that's about what I'd call seven-eighths of a turn out. So I'm going to write that down on a piece of paper so I can remember that when I put this back together. I'll call it seven-eighths turn out on the air screw. That screw is called the air screw, or it's your low speed. So I'll unscrew that all the way, and it too goes in the gunk. That's what it looks like. It has a little bit of a blunt end on it, um, and that just screws into a seat. On this air screw on a Makuni, when you screw the air screw in, you make the mixture richer. When you screw the air screw out, you lean out the mixture. That's, that's a little different than most carbs. So that's something to remember if you have a Makuni. And the carbs pretty much taken apart as much as I want to take it apart. Uh, I have this fitting around the float bowl, uh, around the float needle, excuse me, and I see it has a gasket on it, so I really feel like I should take that out. Also, I'm going to gently lift this gasket for the float bowl itself. And it's an oldie, 1973, so it's been around a while. Not as long as me, but it's been around. Well, I'm going to have to work with that a little bit to get it to get it out. Again, the scribe is really helpful for this kind of thing. Break it loose all the way around. Gently pick that up and I'll put it with the parts that are not going into the cleaner. Okay, I've got to go find a metric wrench to take care of the hex on that uh, fitting. I'll be right back. <laughs> 